This is an introduction video for current users of the system, rather than a training video for new users. The aim is to give you an overview of the new interface and some of the features that will be available in the 6.0 release. A driving factor in updating the web client was the need to be able to work on mobile devices, such as tablets. You will notice that the home page has a very similar look and feel to the previous one. Recently updated experiments, the ability to start a new experiment, and the reminder list. Predefined filters on the left hand side of the page now allow you to quickly access experiments from the library or view experiments where you are a contributor. You can also view your own or public templates from this menu. Along the top of the screen you will notice the new navigation bar. This is always visible throughout the notebook. By clicking on the arrow you can browse between Home, Experiment, Submission, Library and Search. In the middle of the navigation bar you have the quick search capability. The search criteria changes automatically depending on where you are. You can always click Advanced to access the Advanced Search tool. On the very right of the navigation bar you have a new feature, Notifications. Here you get an up-to-date list of things that need your attention. For example, an experiment that needs countersigning or an experiment that was rejected by a colleague. Eventually, other applications will be able to post notifications here. To the right, you have personal settings, the navigation between different apps, and then finally, logout. The logout button is available throughout the notebook. By clicking on a predefined filter on the left hand side, you can jump straight into the library. Notice that the top navigation tool changes from home to library. When you view a list of experiments, you always have the ability to filter or search for experiments by clicking on the symbol on the right hand side of a column. Here you can select a value or search by text. Filtering replaces the folder structure previously used to handle groups of experiments. By clicking on a column title, you can sort the list alphabetically. By clicking on number, you have the ability to search by year, the first part of the experiment number, which replaces the previous year folder structure. You'll also notice that more information is made available for each experiment within the library, whether there are collaborators, if there is a reminder, and the latest submission status of that experiment. Clicking on an experiment title opens the experiment in another tab. Clicking on the experiment row highlights the experiment, allowing you to then click on the cogwheel at the top to see all the possible actions without having to open the editor. The experiment and template editors are very similar to how they were before. The old menu bar at the top of the experiment has now been replaced with the cogwheel. Here you can find the experiment properties, the ability to save as a template, view as PDF and much more. The submission workflow has now been broken up into different sections. Rather than choosing which sections you want to submit within the experiment, you choose it at the beginning of the submission workflow. Once you are happy with this, you can view the experiment PDF and choose the cosigner and reason for submitting. You then add your password to add your electronic signature to the part of the experiment. Within the experiment editor, at the bottom of the page you will see the save status. At the bottom left hand of the experiment, you will also see a timestamp and the last user to edit that experiment. Having experiments open in different tabs allows you to quickly switch between experiments or the home page. The home page automatically refreshes and updates depending on what's happening within the experiment editor.